you like these videos, please subscribe. According to YouTube statistics, only 65.9% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so please subscribe. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my series I Hate. We're diving into two of the most annoying phenomena on the internet, Logo Kids and Class Kichupo. And joining me today is our special co-host, Red Gaming. First up. Let's talk about Logo Kids. For those who don't know, Logo Kids are kids obsessed with finding and making videos about logos that appear at the end of TV shows and films. This might sound harmless, but trust me, it gets pretty ridiculous. Good question. Logo Kids scour the internet and TV for air or old logos, then they upload these to YouTube hoping for views. They even have communities where they discuss the scariest or rarest logos they've found. Some of these videos are just plain weird and often get inflated views, which only encourages more of this pointless content. <coughs> exactly. Now, let's move on to something even worse, Class Key Sispu. <coughs> Known for creating shows like Rugrats, their logo is infamous. It features a disturbing, computerized face and some of the creepiest animations ever. <coughs> Did I also forget to say that many logo editors used this logo to the point where so many people use it for new effects? <coughs> many people, especially kids from the 90s, remember being genuinely frightened by it. The weird design and unsettling sound effects just make it unbearable. It even says on- Hey, what's this? Seriously? What kind of human being made all of these videos full of last super editing effects? I haven't had it all of time. It looks like Klasky Chupo himself hates all of these videos too. I have no idea why they would make this logo scary, but it did have a bit of an impact. And speaking of impacts, let's talk about another annoying trend, original character stealing. This is when someone takes another person's original character, OC, and claims it as their own. It's a big problem in online art communities, like DeviantArt and Instagram. Instagram. <coughs> It sure is. Artists put a lot of effort into creating unique characters. When someone else steals these characters and passes them off as their own, it invalidates all the hard work the original creator put in. There's no direct copyright law protecting Ox specifically, but it's widely considered unethical. Many artists try to protect their work with watermarks and by documenting their creation process, but it's still a major issue. Absolutely, it's all about respecting the creativity and effort of others. Well, that's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching the video, and thanks to Red Gaming for joining us. Now for the mini YTP. Featuring Posey. Ah! Hello. Um, well, yeah. Well, I have to go and die, okay. <laughs> Unzip it. There we go. I'm sorry, sorry. 